WeBoost is now shipping the new Drive Magnetic Mount Antenna with their Drive Reach and Sleek. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and last month WeBoost let us know they were switching out the exterior vehicle antenna that they are shipping with the WeBoost Reach and their sleek cellular boosters, which are their current flagship mobile boosters. Previously, these kits shipped with a very basic four inch mag mount antenna that has been out for, oh, probably a decade now, and we've affectionately called it the Stubby. Uh, this is no longer being shipped with the kits, and instead, this is the new antenna form factor. It is still omnidirectional, it is still magnetic, it still requires a ground plane underneath in which to reflect signal up into, which a car's roof uh, does provide. So if you're mounting this on top of an, R of an RV or a boat with a fiberglass or rubber roof, you do need to have an eight inch by eight inch piece of metal underneath this style of antenna. Uh, it does allow you to wrap the cables around any direction you want coming out of it. And then it's just more aerodynamic on top of a vehicle, a little more attractive looking. And uh, if you look at the spec side by side of the two antennas, the new antenna actually across the board has lower gain on most frequency bands. And we asked WeBoost about that. Um, and they said that they actually, their engineers actually expected this one to perform better than the 4-inch mag mount antenna. So we will be testing that over the coming months and see if it has an impact on actual performance with the boosters. Uh, we did do some preliminary testing with our signal meter provided by Waveform. Uh, to do, and we did actually see where this antenna is giving better results, slightly better results than the old four inch mag mount antenna. So it does give us uh, no caution whatsoever on getting the new kit. Uh, this is not a downgrade um, as to if it's worth upgrading antenna. If you currently have the mag mount antenna, uh, that jury is still out if it's worth the extra cost. This a new antenna is $25 versus these older style antennas used to sell for, you could find them on Amazon for under 15. Now, of course, for RV and marine use, we recommend with their uh, WeBoost Reach or any of their other mobile boosters, we actually prefer what they used to call the 4G OTR. They now re-released it as the X uh, RV antenna. And that's the one that looks like a black beer can on top of a stick. That one actually consistently performs better with these sorts of boosters across the board. Uh, they do not yet have a kit with the reach that includes that antenna style. If you want that antenna in a kit, you have to go with their over, older model, which is the X booster, which doesn't have low power in it. Um, so that is a compromise. They do tell us that they do plan to come out with a kit specifically with an RV antenna with the Reach, which is their current flagship mobile booster. Um, our members will be able to track along with our testing over the coming months as we do some comparatives as we travel around in our van. So we'll try to find some unique signal areas and just see if the performance has any impact on it. And uh, in our consistent testing over the many years, the WeBoost Reach is the king of cellular boosters against all manufacturers right now. So it is still our top pick booster if you are in the market for a cellular booster. But remember, boosters are not always the right solution for getting the best data performance. For that, MIMO antennas are where it is all at. So you can go to the Resource Center and find a ton more content on MIMO versus boosters. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.